What's up my turtle, turtles and tortoises? It's a wanted turtle and today we we thought we were done. We thought we admitted defeat. We opened three booster packs. That's over a, that's 108 individual packs in search of any variant of one of the cards and we didn't pull it. So we thought we were just going to move on, admit defeat and find something else to do, but we're going again. Uh, if, we if we never get this card, it won't be for lack of trying. And also, we do have a piece of mail that we got today and all the way from Japan. So we're gonna open that as well. Uh, that's just to block the address. So let's do this. Fourth booster box at this point. And yep, we are still looking for that Magikarp Whale Lord. And I, I, I did not get any of those collection boxes that basically give you a promo one because I figured we'll pull it. We'll pull, we'll pull a bunch of them. We got, we got a couple booster boxes. Boy, was I wrong. So before we get into the opening, um, as always, if you do enjoy these videos, I would appreciate if you drop, hit that like button for me. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. If you're not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Um, and if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, we do post a video essentially every day um, and sometimes multiple videos per day, especially with all the team up openings we've been doing. Uh, hit that bell button. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see some of my uh, more high valued uh, cards in my collection. I'll be posting those there. And if you are looking for code cards, just let me know in a comment below. And as long as you subscribe, I'll, I'll hook you up with one. Or if you're following me on Instagram, just you know let me know in a comment there as well. All right, so let's do this. Box number four at this point. Will we ever find that Magic Corp Carp Whale Lord? Here we go. Let's put these off to the side. We'll open this in a little bit. All right. Ooh, maybe I figured out how to open these packs. Uh, so <laughs> maybe that's progress to finding the card that we're looking for. All right, first pack, ooh, these are kind of cold. We got a Fighting Energy. And then we got a Lonely Graveler. Ammonite, Water Memory. I don't like these cards. A Psyduck, Vullaby, cards are weird. A Weedle, Helioptile, some Eggs, a Reverse Sword. For our first pack, we got a Lowland Golem. Always a fan of Golem. Although Geodude was kind of confusing. Is he like just like floating? He's like has no legs, just two arms. Kind of just can't remember if he hopped or he was like just always suspended in the air. Um, always found that kind of interesting. Some childhood mysteries that, rem that have remained unsolved for me. Next pack, we got a Metal Energy, Pokemon Communication, Hitmon Lee under the under the highway, Metal Goggles. Tentacool, Ponyta, Alolan Grimer, Breathing in Fire, Cosmog, what is this, is he like, Smog, a Litten, very cute, as far as cats go, Heliosk, Reverse, and ooh, this is a new one for me, Zapdos, so basic for one energy. Thunderous Assault. If this Pokemon was on your bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, it does 70 more damage. This attack damage isn't affected by weakness. Hmm, if this attack was on your bench. So 80 damage for, for one energy seems pretty good. I'm gonna put this guy off to the side or in the front. I like that. If, if nothing else, that art, actually the Articuno too. The Moltres is, I, f I feel like the Moltres is the least impressive, but I do like that art. All right, let's go pack number three, and then uh, maybe we'll open up this piece of mail. All right, fairy energy. Him on Lee again. Two swords. Dangerous drill. Nidoran. Some more smog. Ooh, magic carp. Where are you and your buddy? Zorua, Larvitar, 
muck of the normal variety, the big old blob of purple muck, and a bronzong, the impervious to fire guy. All right, let's see what we got today, all the way from Japan. And on a random side note, Japan is a place I've visited uh, fairly recently and have to say that was quite a nice trip. Ooh, nicely packaged and we got a booster box of ultra shiny so I've been thinking about like you know what to do when we hit certain sub milestones uh, just to throw out some ideas is to crack open this guy ultra shiny very very cool set um, as far as sets that are uh, things that are only available in Japan this is one that oh it's very disappointing or just for some other stuff I have I could do a Burning Shadows booster box if we can want to search for that very expensive Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. Um, not sure nothing else comes to mind right now, but if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. So, moving on to our next pack. We got, so look at this. He has no legs, he's just kind of floating. Squirtle, very nice. And. A Starmie. Ah, oh, but so this this Magikarp Wailord search, it's it's driving me crazy because I feel like you know even if it's just the regular GX that would be fine. I you know I'm not searching it, it, compared to when if we were to go hunting for that Rainbow Rare Charizard, you know where you get maybe one or you get one. You know, if you're super lucky, two of the secret slash hyper rare cards. Uh, this one, it's, it's more like six, you have like six tries to get that card. So we got Sabrina Suggestion Reverse. And then a B Drill, but that with that Destiny Stinger. If you haven't read that, give that a look. That is crazy. Comes at a, well, the price to pay. You have to, the price to pay to get that Destiny Stinger though is to, Turn a Weedle into a bee drill. I guess that's the real challenge. All right, let's do this. We got a Dark Energy, Dragonair, Ingo and Emmett. These guys are weird. They're on a subway too. Charmeleon, Magic Carp. Where's your buddy? Some eggs. Uh, some lizard with bow ties. A weird cat. A Nidoran. Reverse Kabuto and oh, do I see something on the side? Oh wait, that's just a reverse, but we have ooh Gengar Mimikyu All right, so we got our first GX our first and it's a tag team card, which is nice And this is the one coming into when we first got the booster boxes This was the one I wanted I feel like I don't know Gengar is very menacing and Mimikyu is if you look, depending on how you look at him, what angle, it's like he can either be cute or kind of creepy. And when he's just like Gengar is like walking around, like it's almost like he's walking around with a, his doll, which happens to be a Mimikyu. It's uh, very menacing in my opinion. So happy with that pull. All right, on to next. Metal Energy, Almanite, Tauros, Lavender Town, Mankey, Vulpix, Pan Jam, Squirtle, Klefki, this is another one, like this species makes no sense, Blitzel, and then a Garvantula. I feel like we're getting a lot of regular rares. Okay, Fairy Energy. Persian, oh Giovanni! Like when it comes to Pokemon to have by your side, like why that? Farfetched, always a cool Pokemon. Cosmoan, the, so the smog turns into some kind of ball with 
fins on it. Squirtle. Bronzor. Not, not sure what to make of this thing either. Klefki. Pidgey. Emolga, the tree squirrel kind of thing. Ooh, and Emolga again. And a prime ape. This guy is going full power. This guy keeps it at 100 all the time. Hmm. If you're not familiar with this set, um, just look into it for a little bit. It's basically for, you know, for from the sun and moon, just took a bunch of the cards and turned them all shiny. Oh, it's a green code card. You guys go. Uh, if you ever pull something cool with those code cards, let me know. Uh, I stopped playing the online game uh, some time ago, but it was fun. Uh, it, got, it just got kind of difficult to keep up with the different meta. I was not able to spend enough time to kind of get, get the right card and stuff like that. So we got a reverse Pidget, and then the Alolan Muck. All right, so just one hit so far, which isn't great. But we will not be deterred. We will continue to power through till we hit <laughs> one on the Magic Art Whale Lords. Nido Reno. Judge's Whistle. Oh, we pulled a gold one of these not too long ago. It's pretty sweet. Oh, it was the last pack, too, of the box. Oh, I love that Charmander. He's so cute. Hone Edge, a random sword. Pidgeotto. Mankey. Ooh, full art. Pikachu Zekrom. Oh, I feel like we're pulling a lot of cards that we already have. When it comes to the full arts, uh, the tag teams, I think this is the only one we have. And now we just got our second one. But hey, never going to complain too much for a full art Pikachu. Zekrom is cool too. I feel like when it comes to the pairings, um, this one, they're, they're both, you know, they're both in it together where like the, <laughs> the magic card probably isn't helping the whale lord too much. Uh, Snorlax is usually just sleeping. All right, Vullaby, weird guy, Blitzel, Pidgey, random sword. Oh, that's kind of cute. Need a ring. Ooh, Tapu Coco. Nice. Don't think I have this one yet. And then we have a Ninetales. Put this over here. All right, last pack. See, look at that. That's pretty menacing. The Mimikyu. It's a. It's a Pokemon. He's just kind of walk, dragging him along to go fight. All right. So last pack of the opening. Psychic Energy, Evelyn, Pupitar, Kakuna, Grimer, Pidgey, Dratini, Ponyard, Lolan Grimer, Breathing Fire, Ooh, Reverse Mr. Mime, and for the last pack of the opening, we have a Mandibuzz. If you ever wondered what that weird baby egg, with like egg overalls thing is, turns into, it's a Mandibuzz. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, to recap, we got another box of Ultra Shiny that you know maybe we'll open in the, sometime in the future. And as far as hits, we got a Tapu Coco Prism Star, first one of those, a very cool looking Zapdos, and that, that attack that's for one energy, um, it's pretty good in my opinion. All right, and then we got a Gengar Mimikyu. Actually, as far as the hits go, we got two tag teams, and the other one is a full art Zekrom Pikachu GX. So, very cool. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, um, and yeah, we'll catch you guys next time, and peace.